Hi, my name is Vahagan. I'm working at Positive Technology Company of Banking Security Research Group. Today, I'd like to talk about security of crypto exchanges. The research I did within 2019 and 2020 years. When I started my career, I have found my first vulnerability at Kraken. It was in 2013. I have found an open redirect vulnerability which was duplicate, but the Kraken sent me a little bit tip of half of Bitcoin and at the time it was $100. At 2013 I was a student. So uh, after the time I have found a lot of vulnerabilities at crypto exchanges like XSS, SQL injection, directory traversals, etc. If you will read a news and uh, you can see that there are a lot of hacks of exchanges. The big hacks was uh, with MTGOX, Bitfinex, Binance. For example, from MTGOX was stolen over 800,000 800, uh, bitcoins. A few years ago, I asked me a question. So, uh, how are crypto exchanges hacked? Uh, as for me, using an XSS, it was so hard to hack crypto exchanges, or uh, using Open Redirect, it's I think it's not possible too. As for me, there are four points, um, four ways how to possible to hack the servers of the servers of crypto exchanges. Uh, the first point is we are insiders. It's it, it's when uh, uh, developers leave some backdoors in a code, and after some time, using the backdoor, uh, they steal money. The second point is a vulnerability in third-party software which use in exchanges, uh, for example, CM some outdated CMS or the vulnerability, for example, in Apache and something like that. But as for me, more realistic to hack the exchanges by finding vulnerability at smart contracts or in custom codes. The next question that rises is which vulnerability to search. Of course, you can search for XSS, SQL injection, but their vulnerabilities are often fixed at the application development stage. I started looking for different vulnerabilities at the application logic level in the particular vulnerabilities of the race conditions type. For those who don't know, in short, what is a REST condition? The vulnerability of REST condition is peculiar of application that support multi-trading and multi-processing. From the Valor's blog, I took an example of the work of program for transferring money from one user to another. Ideally, when transferring money, it's first check the balance of the first user has a, has a much has a much money as it needs to be transferred. If so, the money from the balance of the first user will be debit and added to the second user. But what happened if two transfer requests come in parallel at the same time? When both thread will at the same time check the if operation and proceed to set step 2, at the same time, uh, debit money from the balance of the first user and add it to the balance uh, of the second user. If the first user had $1000 and we requested a transfer of the maximum amount, then the first user will have minus $1000 and on the second account and the second user will have two thousand dollar for the research i took the top hundred exchanges but it's not from coin type website also i took a turbo intruder at hundred dollars in litecoin and dogecoin 
since the commission of for withdrawing those coins was one of the lowest at that time. How do I understand where to look? In what functionality? I thought to read what was the trend of the exchanges at that time, what new functionality they added. From the Binance block I saw that they added margin trading and here you can see that there is a functionality to transfer mount from one account to another from merging to spot and another functionality was uh, internal trans inter internal transfer this is when money and uh, debit from one user account and added to another user account at the database level and not at the blockchain level so let's look at the four logical vulnerability that i found the first vulnerability was in SnapX Exchange. Uh, the SnapX Exchange was closed on February of this year, so I can write their name here. When we want to buy Bitcoin, we send a request to the exchange and say the price and which, uh, at which we want to buy uh, and uh, the quantity. After, if we have a required amount on the our balance then the exchange will place an order to buy or sell so what will happen if we'll send several parallel requests to exchange for example to buy some Bitcoin in case I haven't sent two requests to buy a hundred bitcoins at price of one dollar the exchange placed to buy order which had total cost of two hundred dollars and I had uh, zero dollar in my balance by cancelling one or one buy order uh, my balance increased by hundred dollar and by cancelling the second order my ba balance became to hundred dollars this way i was able to double my balance and using a race condition i reported this uh, vulnerability to developers and uh, they fixed within two weeks here are the screenshot of my uh, trading account. My start balance was uh, $10,000 and after a few seconds I increased my balance to, to $20,000. The second ex exchange used the same vulnerability as the Binance associated with internal transfer, but internal transfer was done uh, with the help of promo codes. By design, one user uh, was able to create some promo code with some amount. Uh, after promo code creation, the exchange will fro freeze the amount and if some other user will activate the promo code, the exchange will add frozen amount to the second user balance. I have tried rest condition from uh, the second user by activating the promo code 1 but no luck but when I created two promo codes and tried again race condition with only the first promo code then the exchange added amount from promo code 1 to my account and after that from the promo code 2 I'd like to mention that I didn't know promo code 2 value here is the screenshot that I was able to activate the promo code one, two times. Let's see another type of vulnerability. When we're trying to withdraw money from our account, the exchange deduct a commission from the money that we want to withdraw and the remaining amount is sending to address uh, that we wrote. I found one crypto exchange that positioned itself as a commission-free exchange. I thought that if the exchange doesn't take a commission, then I wonder what is the minimum amount that can be withdrawn from the exchange. It turned out that this amount in dollar terms is very small. 
when I try to withdraw 1 million Ethereum, the exchange itself pay around $10 for the transaction. I wrote uh, to the crypto exchange that uh, you can send uh, the smallest amount uh, of Ethereum and the exchange will pay a large amount for in instead of me and you can empty the exchange's hot wallet by sending a lot of transactions. The exchange replied to me that this is their business and this is not a vulnerability. When we try to withdraw amount from the exchange, usually the exchange sent us email for confirmation uh, and uh, if we will click the accept uh, button or link, uh, the exchange will send our amount to uh, some address. Uh, rest condition vulnerability was in a few websites, in a few exchanges by accept the confirmation link. When I send a few times accept confirmation uh, request, I saw that uh, the exchange uh, sent to another account, uh, another address many times uh, the amount which I requested. Or uh, when I try to send the amount in my uh, deposit address, then the exchange uh, increased my balance a few times. Here you can see the approved withdrawal link, which I uh, sent a few times via REST condition. And here you can see that uh, my account uh, was uh, 0.05 uh, Ethereum. And after that, the exchange added to my balance six times of uh, value which I try to withdraw to my deposit address and here you can see my final Ethereum balance. As a conclusion, 25% of exchanges uh, had a race condition and 80% of 25% exchanges was possible to steal amount or manipulate uh, balance of uh, crypto exchanges. So that's it. Thank you very much.